Ultra Marine again. All right. Wait, what was the last game we played? Oh, it was the, the Two Racks Factory build. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I need to come up with another invention. What's it going to be? I could also proxy that second barracks, but then I feel like I really have no money. I, I do like the idea of playing like I did in that TVT because it's um, it's just a little more aggressive, like a little more control of the game. I feel like if you play a macro TVT, like it it is it is skill based, but the margins are also so small. It's not that easy to make a a skill difference apparent, if that makes sense. But if you play weird stuff like you know two racks Reaper and Hellions uh, very early, then you can always out micro make better decisions, thrive in the chaos. You know, that's the good stuff. M maybe I should do it again, just to see what it looks like if my opponent knows I'm gonna do it. Actually, that's not even a bad idea. I kind of like that. I have to imagine he watched the replay because he. I'd be so shocked to see like an extra freaking Reaper compared to me. You know. <laughs> like there's no way he's gonna just be like oh yeah no i know this build you know my uncle jerry does it all the time <laughs> it's like I, it's really the first time he ever saw that I, I do remember there being a a build in tvt that uh i don't remember who it was that did it i want to say it was keen if you guys remember keen a korean terran where he went two racks reaper with a faster second gas and then at the factory like that and that's like without skipping the orbital right um so that's the difference here. I guess I just have even more units, but even less economy. I was just about to start the orbital, by the way. Like it's uh it's, it's not it's not a build you can do on autopilot, not for me at least. Factory now. Got two out of gas. The gas count was fine, right? Last time? I think it was fine. I'm pretty sure I can get the orbital before the second Reaper as well. Though I'm not hundred percent sure. Actually, this this Reaper timing probably doesn't matter that much, right? Because I need to wait for the third Reaper anyway. So even if I wouldn't be able to afford this Reaper, it would be smart to get the Orbital before. That makes sense. Yeah, let's scout around my base a little bit. I, I always uh, really enjoy figuring out new builds that could like consistently work, you know? Especially when they're a little off meta. I just like seeing different games. It's kind of what bored me of being a StarCraft 2 Pro at some point anyway. It's like always seeing like the same stuff, same meta and everything. It's not... Uh, even if the games are exciting and fast-paced and the players are really good, it's just not its not as enjoyable, really. Probably made my command center already. I used my 15th SCV on minerals this time. Let's see. I kind of doubt he's going to go across with the same thing, though. If, if he would have moved across with the same, uh, <laughs> same unit, he would actually be a little bit of a psycho. All right, let's see. Could have moved out a little faster because the Hellion is a little faster than the rest of these units. I'm not going to go through the grass. Didn't see him in the middle this time. Let me split these up a little bit so I don't take Hellion damage. Do I watch Astrea games? Sometimes. Not not super frequently. So I had a second Hellion already. So I'm going to wait for the the second the Reaper advantage. Where I should have, what is that, five Reapers against three, I think. Yeah, it should be five Reapers against three. Two Hellions against three as well, unless it's a Cyclone. Then he might have that out already too. Because you can go via the low ground. That should be okay. Let's make sure to split these up as much as possible. Oh, he did go for a reactor. He does have a lot of units. Just need to be careful here. Oh, that was actually very close. If that grenade hit properly, I could have won the game right there. It's always so so tight in TVT. He oh, he's on one base. Ah, okay, that explains a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Got to cancel this for uh for a Cyclops then. Um, oh. Yeah, this is getting a little scary. I, I have my base way before his, which sounds kind of weird considering the build I'm doing, but uh, he could totally do a lot of damage with this because he has more Hellions in particular. It's probably going to come from up here. Let's split my units a little deeper into the natural. I think the Liberator should be taken care of decently. See, I'm going to lose a couple SCVs, but that's okay. I'm confident in my micro here. I'm getting a little low HP on these guys. Looks pretty good though, I think. Yeah, nice. Ooh, clean. All right, that was actually very good. Look at that, guys. So this build gives perfect scouting opportunity besides, you know, being a really absurd timing attack. There you go. Inventing stuff every day. That's what I'm talking about. No, I don't think I'm gonna get a, a third on time, but that's okay. Probably cancel these Marines actually, then I could. Let's see. 
He's got my third base already. These guys are probably done repairing. I don't really know what he's going to do behind this. I feel like whenever I did attacks like that, I would just keep making... Uh, Keep making freaking liberators and sending them across like a psycho because you're already busy being a psycho anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. The double reactor. Make a tech lab on this. Hope I don't get punished because this does feel a little greedy, but we'll see. He might have a siege tank. Let's see what he has with this hellion. No, he has... He has a lot of freaking hellions, right? And he has a raven too, huh? Go for a double engineering bay already. <laughs> Wait, where the Hellions go? Oh, he was waiting for the Reapers up there. Makes sense. Yeah, that's gonna die instantly. I'm actually gonna do this. I know I'm psycho, but here we go. This was even more psycho than I had imagined, to be honest. Yeah, okay, let's see what I can get. Oh, the Reaper! No, he had seen it on accident! Because he was trying to throw a grenade, I think. I've done that before. Oh, no, poor guy. He's gonna lose the Raven too, I believe. Oh, no. Not like this, Ultramarine. I, I, I think I think he was trying to throw a grenade and he accidentally unseeded his tank. That's that's messed up. Even though I was winning already, I should probably resign for that. That's that's actually not cool. All right, let's steal this tech lab. Make a thingy over here. Man, this transition is... Act I actually love this so much. I feel like it's been a while that I actually uh, enjoyed like a new build that I was trying this much. Like, it's actually very cool. Maybe we can uh, get a little bit of control out on the map with these. <laughs> See, I'll get Stim. 1-1 one, one before Stim is a little crazy, but that is going to give me an insane timing. I ca How many SUVs did I kill? Not that many, right? I don't really remember killing that many SUVs. I mostly took a really good trade against the units and killed the, the Ravens, I think. Let's see if I can find something with these. Could drop some turrets in the main too. I don't think... Yeah, I don't have the experience matrix, so it doesn't really matter if I lose these. <laughs> oh, he's going to escape that way. Okay, interesting. I'll just drop one over here then. <laughs> Man, he's actually losing so much mining time for this. Holy cow. It's a lot of damage on the marines too. I heard another one explode right there. Exploding, probably not the right word, but you know. Ultramarine plays like pigs, Terran. I don't know what Pix Terran plays like now. Oh, let's target the red ones. Oh, I got three. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> but like, Pig usually just tries to play normal macro games, right? For the most part. Dude, this drop... Yo, it's it's not even just like the... Everything... Like, the, the further I discover this build, the better it is. Like, I'm gonna have a four medevac drop with one one. And pr probably barely not combat shields, but still, let's see. Mm, it's going to be annoying again. He even sees a tank for that. He has combat shields and plus one attack. That's that's a little strange that he has uh, just plus one from one eBay. Not something you would usually do. I do think I should leave my tanks at home, right? I mean, I would love to attack with everything, but uh, I think if he like attacks me... I'll just go for this. I'll just go for the Marines. Normally, I would put the tanks with this. <clears throat> But since he has plus one on combat shield, I don't think it sounds very smart to do that. I don't have a sensor tower, but I'm I'm pretty sure if he attacks me, we're going to be okay. Oh, he's going to... Ooh, that is a nice scout. So I'll siege you over there then, Mr. Tank. And now I know he likes to drop, so I'm going to add a couple turrets. Let's see. Oh, I could I could drop on that too. Wait, I wonder, did, did he not realize that he saw my drop? Yeah, I don't think he realized. <laughs> oh, that's pain. Ultramarine is not having a lot of luck today, guys. <laughs> that was another painful defeat. Man, the build, guys, twice. Five for Terran. Absolutely popping off. Double the resources lost. This is good stuff. This is... We were talking about how you shouldn't copy me. This actually might be copyable. The latter would look very weird if everyone is, everyone is just doing this against each other. That's, that's for sure.